be scared of the night Always wanting the fright of your life Oh baby, can't you see the monster screamed in your dreams? While you're scared of sleep at night Oh, to tell you that remember of your life Yeah, baby, yes, yeah, see The monster may have died Hey guys, girls and ghouls, it's your boy Razor from Razor's Twisted Exploring. We're in the Bradford area today and we're going to check out this abandoned Mazionic Hall mansion. So come with us on another explore. You ready? This is what we are looking at today, guys. Not the grass. So we're making our way through this grass up this hillside. We'll see. In one second. Whew. That is what we're looking at. That is a beauty. Let's get over, check it out. So yeah, this grand building here. Mazionic Hall, apparently. Mansion. We can just make out some stained glass to that top window. Huge place, guys. We've already figured a way into it. So, in the go. Ooh, somebody's obviously put ladders there. Wow. Already some amazing features. These uh, drawers here. Incredible. Almost gives me that vibe that this was obviously some sort of kitchen, cookery sort of area. You can see some of the cutlery, like the bowls, pint glass there, plate. A few more bowls, it's coming round. Wow, look at that. Pretty blue fireplace. Never get that. Like, why did they cut the doors like that? Unless, obviously, somebody's been trapped in here. I don't know what that is. Somebody might have been trapped in here, needed cutting out. So yeah, I think that's why they cut them, safety. Seems like they was trying to cut that one. Uh, ooh, it's pretty hot in here. I haven't been walking though, guys. Some uh, files. I have had about 20 25 minute walk. Wow, this long corridor here. And all these sort of wine cellar storage. Somebody's obviously lost the jacket.
this. This is like a maze, guys. I know, it's just spiraling off in so many directions. This basement is huge. And again, as we always do, we'll take you floor by floor within this place. There's so many cobwebs. Exit. So that goes right in there. What do we have around here? Just like this huge safe. There's no sort of writing on the back of it. Like the front. See, plaque's gone. To identify what safe it is. Where did the safe come from? But obviously the office. Down here. Some yellow chair. Oops. Oh, it looks like it's been pretty stripped out in there. Staircase. Looks like they were planning on bricking up this staircase at one point. See, I don't know if these staircases, as well, guys, lead off into different parts. I don't risk injury. Yeah, not too sure about these staircases leading up. Obviously still room into different parts of this building. So it might have been sealed off um, up there, given that they was trying to seal it down here. So for this one, oh, sort of head up, see. Seems we have a back room here as well. The huge safe. Milner's Safe Company Limited, London, Liverpool. And let's see if we can pull it to. Again, there's no plaque on the front, there's not the marking on side, nevertheless. That's two safes that I've seen now, guys. So it must have been quite an important building. This looks like could have gone to the main entrance. Just look like they've sealed it. I think. And so we're carrying on this. Floor. Just sort of going with the flow of things. It goes through there. So there's the stairway there. That's mind boggling, guys. Very mind boggling. Because we came back through there, didn't we? And obviously we're up to where this stained glass is. What's down there? Looks like toilets. Tiles. Again, all that stained glass and into the toilet area. 
Normally, no. Really fancy late see in the toilets. I see it's really nice, pristine. Has some features to it. As we see in this wallpaper. It's obviously been hidden behind all this paint. I really don't know why they do that. And not show off the incredible features that remain in this building. It's like a fold out table. This almost looks like some body and squatting here. Or was going to do it up. But obviously, people have been having a bit of a session here. Zoban looks it. Look at the staircase going up. And I did see another staircase back there. But again, take your floor by floor. We will go backwards to that other staircase before we go up onto the next floor. We'll just take you across this part. First of all, that is amazing. Really is. I guess uh, maybe another toilet. A bit of stained glass above the door here and to the window. But yeah, again, another toilet area. Burnt out here. So, just watching footing. So, coming up into this room. They're very blue. That sort of blue kind of reminds me of uh, Walton Hall that we did. A little bit of the border. There. Wow. Down here. That fireplace, absolutely amazing. Now, going off what we see in here. There's another part. So going off what we're seeing here with the original the part, I would dead. Have a sneaky look before you guys and we're gonna save that for last but we're gonna get back to that other stairway and that other side to show you so yeah there's a, another beautiful white stairway here A bit of a fire exit. That's obviously going up. There. Loving this sort of rose. Like rose. That sort of flower. All paper. It's a very old sort of crate. A GB soft drinks, a B cola. Actually, a B cola. It's a very yeah, a GB cola. That's pretty cool. 
almost like a serving hatch. And again, we've got this border with this grand window. The chandelier, stangling down. Back on the basement side, because I did forget down here. Obviously, we've come across more safes. Look what the safe's looking after, guys. Obviously, a grow. Oh, it's been happening within this place. And then doors. I've set toilets there. We'll head up these. Then. So this next floor. Let's say toilets. Ooh. No chance. Walking on there. Cool. Very yellow. Wow. That window as well. The yellow going in with this sort of crimson red colour. And then into another room. Like a chandelier. Uh, some of the old window panes, all the stained glass. But yeah, must be very uh, mesionic after all. Again, very dated. Wallpaper. Yet yeah, these lights have seem very modern, given the sort of dated looks that we have in here with some of the features. seems to be seeping in a little bit with us being careful. Got another fireplace here. Look at flowery tables around the side. Amazing. Look at these light fittings. Everything's been thought with great detail, hasn't it? Obviously, this is the way up from the blue stairway. Yeah. I'm doing if I check back here. No, we didn't. Some big open space toilets. Again, we've got all this stained glass. It does go up to a loft, guys, but. Just not, not today, not for me, <laughs> today. Again, anyway, there's some stairs there. Might be, in, be the uh, safer option. Down first, right here. 
to this little window here, which is really nice. This is the stained glass that we saw outside to the top point. Obviously we're not walking across there guys. It's very unsafe. Well we'll look at them damp spots and I think nope. Not worth the chance. These oh, yeah, these steps as well. Pretty creaky. These look brilliantly new. Put in. A lot of work to do for this place, that's for sure. Well, we're gonna take you up here to this loft part. I'm trusting this sort of flooring. Yeah. I'll say up to Pigeon Paradise. Ooh. Yeah, so that's obviously where them ladders would have come up. Obviously. There would have been steps coming off here. And to there as well. It's almost like water, water tank boiler area. Old switch. Yeah, it's best. So we're back here by the blue staircase. We're gonna come over and take you into the main hall. Look at chimneys. Looks like obviously there was ceiling this bit out at one point. Looks like it slipped there, so I might have to just drop down. That over. Look at them sort of columns. And the borders. All this wooden panelling. Into this grand hall. We've only seen from the, obviously, the back side of this uh, place. But when I'm done and we head out, I will show you the front part as well. So there was hiding in here, not the attic. <laughs> uh, so we're just back outside. Obviously, we're gonna take you round to the front. Might have uh, some signs on there, maybe a date. Uh, that can give us some idea again. But we'll look into the history behind this grand place and add that in the description. This almost looks like a bit of an add-on to the actual mansion, giving off the different coloured brickwork. There that is. It's 
So we say entrance points. Beautiful grand building guys. So there we go. What an absolute grand building. Uh this mansion. And then obviously the Mesa Yonic Hall to the side. Beautiful. Just sat here. They're getting away. Hopefully somebody comes and saves it because it's be a shame for it to just go to ruins guys. And obviously that looks like quite a bit of history to it. Anyways, thanks for coming on this explore with us. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe for more content. We'll catch you on the next. Peace out.